Morning guys, Tammy Trayer, TrayerWilderness.com and TrayerWildernessAcademy.com. I thought I'd bring you out into my yard today. It's so nice outside and I didn't feel like being cooped up. So I'll wait a few minutes here for you guys to hop on and join me. And, and if not, that's okay. It's summer, kids are home, life is crazy. So I get that, you guys can watch it on the replay and that's all good too. I just have some really, well, what we feel at this point, very exciting news to share. Um, so I can see you guys starting to hop on here. So good morning, Vicki Lynn. Glad to have you joining me. The enemy was fighting with me a little bit. I don't think he wants me to share what I'm going to share with you today. He'd rather you be stuck in the lies, but I'm going to share today. And um, hope that you guys join us on this new journey that we are about to uh, embark on. It's going to be really quite wild and wooly and crazy. Um, for those of you that uh, followed us on our original journey, it's probably going to be crazier than that. And for those of you that might be joining me that are new today, uh, my family and I embarked on our off-grid journey arriving to very overgrown wilderness land. Um, uh, it was like a jungle and we set up a canvas wall tent and lived in it for eight and a half months while we built our home. And I'm starting on this note because during those eight and a half months, it was the absolute most amazing time of my life. Good morning, Tammy. The simplicity that we experienced, like I know when I say something to the mountain man, he doesn't really, he didn't really feel the same thing that I did in that regard. And maybe it's something that a woman feels. Um, many of us look back on our ancestors and the pioneers and, um, just have a unique feeling towards them, an appreciation, um, and maybe that's not everybody. I've always felt that I li I'm living in the wrong era, um, that I didn't quite fit in, uh, that I had my own unique uh, ways of thinking, you know, not too many other girls were climbing trees and uh, in the creek and shooting stuff, so I don't know. It could just be me, but in that tent, I experienced a simplicity that I can't even put into words. Um, we had a Rubbermaid tote, you know, it wasn't the big massive ones, it was just a small Rubbermaid tote that we had our clothing and our personal effects in. And then we had a, a food tent um, that was separate, but my own personal belongings were all nestled in that Rubbermaid tote. And you know, you get up in the morning and there were so few cares. Like, when you're connected to the internet and you're connected to society there, and just life in general, there seems to be so many more cares. Where when you're living to such a simple level, where you don't, where your abundance isn't personal effects. Your abundance is what's around you. Your abundance is your family. Um, the love of God. I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm hoping that maybe some of you are understanding what I'm saying, but that simplicity is something that I've been eagerly seeking ever since. Um, it's, it's just something that was so amazing to me. And we've been very transparent all year, um, sharing some of our circumstances with you and Today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share them completely with you. Uh, as you know, we refer to ourselves as embracers. And we are also real go-getters. Um, hi, Emma. I don't know if you can see this. Well, I'm going to share this with you. I don't know if you can see them. But everywhere I go, I'm followed by a flock of chickens and a rooster and a duck and my dogs, as you can see. I'm never alone. <laughs> and neither are you. You know, God follows us just the same. But anyway, um, what I want to share with you today is the real raw and the real nitty gritty. And um, we are in a position where there's no turning back now. 
Many of you have been following me for a while and you might have heard me say some things or the mountain man say some things on the YouTube videos. Um, but in 2016, I had life-saving surgery. And despite the generosity of so many people and, and the love and, and the outpouring of so many people, um, we went six and a half months without an income and we had to travel to Georgia for 17 days. And um, my surgery was very costly. Uh, good morning, George. And um, in addition to my surgery being very costly, so were my treatments. And uh, I've been on a healing process ever since. And right, right now, I'm, I'm struggling. We had a really rough winter with all the mold in our environment. And I thought once things dried off, I would start feeling better. And I did for a little while. And I'm realizing that the reason I'm not feeling good is the stress that we are walking in. Um, my muscles are not holding my skeletal in place, so my ribs keep popping out and my pelvis keeps going out of place. And these muscles right here around your esophagus keep tightening on me. Um, thankfully, I know how to loosen them and to get them to um, release, but it's a very scary feeling and the fear is there that if I can't release them, you know, what will happen? And I'm realizing, and we've realized, that it's a lot of our stress. Even though we are embracers, we're unstoppable, we are, we are um, not being defined by our circumstances, there's still stress there, there's still heavy weights. And uh, 2017 was kind of an illusion that we were getting back on our feet and getting out of the spot that we were in. And in November, we had a full lineup for December. We had four nice jobs that would have taken us into this year and really given us a good start. And in mid-November, those jobs all squashed uh, due to the homeowners being unable to uh, fund their, their desires. So it threw us into a really bad spot. And winter here is um, a difficult time because green just went really dark. Hopefully you can see me. Um, it's hard to get work in the winter months. Winter months for construction, unless you can find inside work, it's difficult. So we didn't start working again until late March, early April. And we've been working ever since. But the thing is, we were on a slippery slope already. And that slippery slope is not a fun place to be. It's not a comfortable place to be. It's not a pleasant place to be. But we're not quitters. So we have continued to strive and put our best foot forward and keep going. But we're to a point right now where we're not catching back up. And we're being very transparent, very honest, because I know there's other people out there in the same spot. And we want to be able to help our audience, to inspire people, and, you know, we could choose to sit here and be stagnant and just watch this sinking ship sink. But that's not our nature. And even with my health being what it is, I refuse to be defined by our circumstances. And I refuse to let the stress of our circumstances break me. I, I will mend. I will heal. And I am doing everything in my power to de-stress my body. Um... But we've made an extremely huge decision, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. We have decided, rather than watch this ship sink, that we are going to give one extremely <laughs> suicidal and aggressive effort to move forward. And we've jumped off the ladder, we've jumped off the staircase, we are free falling, and we are fully, faithfully trusting God. And in trusting God, you know, what does that look like? Um, it's, still, it's still one of those things where the enemy has the ability to step in. He did yesterday for both the mountain man and I, um, making us think that the choices we've made are, are not good. And, and that we, we're, we're being foolish. And... The Bible verse that came to me in the morning was um, Isaiah 40, 31. 
And it says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. That was after the mountain man left for his job. And that really rekindled things for me. But I, I had to run an errand yesterday and get a toilet for one of the mountain man's construction jobs. And I drove over three and a half hours yesterday in dead silence. You know, allowing God to speak to me and to talk to me and to be open to hear that small, tiny voice. Or my roosters. He's always so noisy when I'm videoing. <laughs> and um, I didn't hear it, but I saw how he was working. That Bible verse led me to see another way that he was working. When I got to Lowe's, I checked my emails to make sure there wasn't anything that I needed to be aware of. Good morning, Chad. And I noticed that somebody was interested in purchasing our truck. And our truck is one of the biggest um, things we are looking for right now is for our truck to sell by June 30th. So that was like a real sign to me that God was really still there. He's still working. Um, when you list on Craigslist, you get a lot of scammers and garbage. and It's just a mess. It's really, really... It's really disappointing, really, um, to see what people are doing to try to uh, get money. Um, I think my phone is actually getting too hot. So bear with me. We're going to move because I'm sitting in the sun here, and I'm going to take us in the shade, and maybe then you can see better. I can see better. We'll see anyway. Okay, there we go. Maybe my phone won't keep doing weird things. There we go. Okay, so... Hopefully you can see me. There we go. Okay. So anyway, I got, good morning, David. I got the, um, good morning, Holly. I got the email that our truck was going to sell. And that just gave me the rekindled spirit that the enemy was just trying to share his lies with us. And another thing that was really interesting, and I would love for you guys to watch it. Be sure that you check in the descriptions below. There's a lot of links today. Um, Starry Hilder is going through a journey also. It's different than ours, but at the same time, we're paralleling in a lot of ways. And she shared a video um, a couple days ago, Why Did I Doubt? And I saw that, and I had service where I was, so I hooked my phone up to the holder in my truck, and I listened to her video. So I encourage you to listen to that, because there's a lot of truth in it. When we're going through valleys, the enemy is going to attack us in such huge ways. He's going to make us think that we're doing the wrong thing. He's going to make us question things. He's going to use people closest to us to make us question things and maybe even to hurt us. It's just really, you know, the enemy will take any avenue that he can to um, dig his fingers in and, and make us doubt. He sits and whispers in our ears, and that's what he was doing to the mountain man and I. But what was really cool is when I got home, I shared with the mountain man what I was experiencing yesterday. I knew he was not in a good place, too. And he was repeating Isaiah 40, 31 in his mind all day yesterday. So, you know, God was working in us. God is constantly working in us. And it's just really amazing to me to see all the miracles he's... Um, provided for us on this journey and you know we don't always know when we're on these journeys why why is this happening to me you know you could sit and why 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 yourself but we're not going to do that the neat thing is when you look back oftentimes you can see the why um you know maybe our why might not be for us maybe through our journey we're helping somebody who was on the edge and may not have had the courage that we do and that's important. You know, we need, to, you know, you never know what your walk, how your walk might inspire, inspire other people. And that is just so incredibly important. Tammy said, God is so faithful to us. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Good morning, Mike. Okay, I'm going to need to do something here because of my muscles not working right. This position is like killing my legs. So I am going to sit on my bottom and just bring this down. Sorry for the constant movement. There we go. Oh, so much better. Okay. So, good morning, Charles. All right. So, with that being said, let me share with you what we are going to do. The inside of our home is not finished. Uh, we got the exterior done. We got in our home. 
it, uh, it was shelter at the time and then we put up walls and studded the interior walls out. Um, the exterior walls had already been studded for everything. But we never got a chance to finish. Uh, the ceiling needs finished, the walls need finished, um, the kitchen needs completed, uh, the bathroom just needs a little bit more work done to it. There's a lot of cosmetic stuff. It's not necessarily super costly stuff. Um, we're going to try to put together about $1,500 that'll cover um, our building materials for like uh, drywall and mud, drywall mud. But the rest of it we're going to mill. But we've given ourselves a very short period. We built our house um, in eight and a half months. We built our guest cabin that was behind me um, and that you might still be able to see parts of um, in four and a half weeks. We are go-getters. We are pushers. Um, my only concern is I don't have that uh, good strength that I had before, but we're really blessed because Mountain Ben is going to come back and join us. So his hands will be such a God-given gift. Um, but we're going to finish this by the end of July. And then we are going to do aerial photos and internal um, uh, drone photos of our home. And we are going to aggressively push to sell this by the end of August. Now, keep in mind um, that we cannot do anything until our home sells. So once our home sells, then we will decide what we're doing. We are probably going to build a tiny structure and live in that for winter. Um, but we're not 100% sure on that. It, there's so many things that, you know, that have to happen first. So um, we are trusting God for all of this. And um, we want to put a little bit of a bonus out there for you guys. You guys have been following us for a long time. You know our journey. And we want to give a little bit back to you. We are putting a finder's fee on our home of $1,000. So if you share our link with your friends and one of your friends buys our home, we will give you $1,000 for helping us on this journey. Um, we need to sell this house by then. Uh, we just can't live under this weight and this stress anymore. It's not healthy for any of us. And it's okay to us. We like adventures. We like new adventures. And... Really, we're excited about this because we've been living under this weight for a very long time. And um, there has been a lot of love put into our home. But it's, it's okay because, um, as I was saying earlier, the simplicity I experienced in our wall tent is something that we are all now seeking. So a tiny house will be so such a blessing to us and just so awesome because we don't need much unlike you know the average person um we just we just don't need much in in addition to that um, my job is to go through everything and simplify get rid of everything we don't need um, get everything out of the house so it's easier to work on the house inside um, without having to move things or the mess good morning tiffany so that was my job. Last week I got into our 12 by 12 shed and let me explain to you that in order to get in there I had to remove things to even step into it. It was floor to ceiling and I, I actually made it three quarters of the way through when the guys got home from work. I had left certain things go. I know not to punish myself. Um, so I left things that were too heavy for me to be handling for them to move around. But I made it through that and I have created a yard sale group on Facebook. And you can uh, go there. It's treyerwilderness.com slash yard sale. And um, basically, it's a pre-moving sale and an effort to simplify. Uh, I, we just don't feel like moving all the baggage. And it's stuff that we don't need and haven't used in eight years. So um, may our journey to simplicity be a benefit to you. <laughs> You know, maybe you'll find things. And we're happy to ship things across the country if need be. Um, the buyers are just paying shipping. But I, I've been listing things on there and we will continue to list things on there. We are also going to um, take our audience on this journey. Um, some on YouTube, but because there's so many trolls and so many people just doing foolish things, maniacal things, um, we are also sharing on Patreon. The links are all down below, patreon.com slash Wilderness. 
it's a uh, secure area that enables us to share the complete details of the inside of our house without the whole world seeing it. So we want to take you on that journey. We're going to show you, and, and that, that's going to be the hard part. You know, we're going to be crunching to get this stuff done, but at the same time, we want to take you on this journey because we want to share with you what we're going to do, um, what we've been doing, how we push, um, the insanity of it all, and um, the rawness of it all. So you can join us on that, and we'll show you what we're going to do to the inside of the house. It's going to be beautiful. And then we'll show you what we're building to live in um, following. And uh, some of the off-grid hacks that we put into place so that if you're deciding to go off-grid, you can do the same thing. Um, so jo join us on the journey. Um, Patreon will be where we will be sharing uh, the behind the scenes and the footage and the photos and and videos so that's where you want to definitely check it out I will still continue to do this every day every Wednesday um, it's just just a good break from the the chaos um, but we all have the same choices you know we can choose to sit and be stagnant in our situations and just let it all come crashing down I think our biggest struggle yesterday was that the mountain man and I were just more concerned about the choices we were making because we don't want to file bankruptcy. And that's where we're at, guys. Honest truth, we're to that point. And we have people telling us, you know, that we're foolish and that, you know, there comes a time, and there might, and, and we've set a date for that time. But we want to make sure that we move forward in our life and are to the point where we can say we did everything in our power to try to fix this situation and we have been doing that now but we feel that this is one of the most aggressive steps we can take there's nothing else we can do at this point we've tried everything so if you would be so kind as to share our house with your friends and families the links down below it's treyerwilderness.com slash five acres five acres is all one word and um you know, this is a homestead setup that people can would be able to move in here and just start homesteading. There's a 40 foot by 40 foot garden with four raised beds, and they are four feet by 36 feet. Uh, there's a small 12 by 12 barn uh, that was great for our milk goats and birthing our milk goats. It's also got an upstairs that was the mountain man's or mountain boys. Um, still to treehouse at one point and then we use the bottom for the barn so there's an upstairs and a downstairs there's a 12 by 12 shed there's a really nice chicken coop with um, exterior access to the eggs and um, we've got solar power here and have never been without power for eight years so it's an amazing lifestyle and it's not for everybody but we do need help getting the word out there and getting people aware that it's for sale and we really want to aggressively take that step but you know guys like I was saying you know we can sit and be stagnant or we can choose to be unstoppable and I would much rather be labeled unstoppable and crazy even if if if, if it fits but you know we can all choose to allow God to work miracles in his timing you know by modeling extreme faith and trust when we take that step of extreme faith and trust, two things can happen. God will meet us or we'll fail. And if we fail, it's because we aren't in line with God's will. So if we fail at this, we recognize that this isn't, you know, it's not God's will for us. But we are really trying to hear that still small voice and to um, follow his lead because it's always a better a better walk, a better path, a better experience. Uh, if you've walked against God before, you know what it's like. It's not pleasant. Um, but when God meets us, the doors open and, and things go smoothly. And even, you know, though it's a crappy situation, you know, you got to see the good in it, guys. You got to see the blessings. You got to see the small things that we should be grateful for. Stay here. Stay here. Good girl. Stay here. Stay here. Good girl.
It's all right, come. Come. That's why you have good dogs on the homestead. <laughs> good girl, missus. Come on. So anyway, um, you know, we've always been embracers and you know, every day is a choice. No matter what the road is that you're on, no matter what you're going through, you know, um, health, finances, the death of loved ones, um, marital issues, you know, those can be real game changers um, and real breakers and the enemy uses those things and you know we all have different walks we all have different struggles but when we put our faith truly in God and we choose to walk in extreme faith and trust and we choose to be unstoppable instead of defeated man you rock the enemy's world and that's why I had problems getting on this morning because he didn't want me to be saying to you what I'm saying today you know you have to have courage. Um, there's a little thing in the description um, on the dragonfly. I don't know if you can see it. This necklace was gifted to me recently by Mama Mona and it represents peace and strength. She gave it to me with a note and um, the dragonfly in almost every part of the world symbolizes change and change in the perspective of self-realization and the kind of change that has its source in mental and emotional maturity and understanding the deeper meaning of life. And I just thought that was kind of neat. And, you know, like I said, we could, I mean, we're in a spot where we could just crumble. You know, choose alcohol, choose medication, but we choose God. And... You know, we could be quiet about this and just do videos and keep it quiet and just kind of try to keep going on about our business. You know, but it's hard. And, and who would we be helping if we didn't step out in faith and share it with you? You know, if we can help one person come to Christ and also uh, come out of a deep place, you know, there's people all over the world wanting to commit suicide every day because they're in circumstances and they don't have anybody to turn to, or at least they don't think they have anybody to turn to. And there's this, those same people that go to the bottle and to drugs. And, you know, we want to we wanna be the one showing the walk that's available to everybody. And, you know, we want to show you guys courage. Like I said, we could fail on this journey. And you know what? We will be walking in front of all of you people and we could fail. And you know what? A lot of people aren't willing to take that step or to be that courageous. And you know, there was a part of us years ago when we first started this journey that may not have done that. But in our walk, um, we found a lot of strength in our walk and um, realize, you know, how people have been angels and um, just the right person at the right moment on the right day. And we want to be that and we want to show you what it's about and show you even if we hit that point of failure, you know, what it looks like and, and how we're going to continue. You know, Forrest Gump said it best. Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. And each breath is not a guarantee. And we just, we always have choices. So... I hope that in some way this has been encouraging for you today that on whatever your walk is today and whatever journey and situation you're going through that it might um, lighten some of those weights, put a smile on your face, brighten your day, um, give you courage to embrace whatever you're dealing with, give you the courage to stand strong when the enemy is trying to defeat you. Because, man, he can be really brutal some days. And I encourage you to watch that video that Starry Hilder put out there. Um, you know, God gave her words of wisdom yesterday or whenever she did her video. And, you know, God gave me different words of wisdom, but they're on the same lines. And, you know, in addition to um, Isaiah 40, 31, 
that I read earlier. Um, Hebrews 13, 5 through 6 is, Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, so I will have no fear. What, what can mere people do to me? And, you know, our circumstances regarding money is that we've found long ago that money is not the answer to all and that money doesn't provide the love that um, comes from God and comes from our family and comes from our strength through perseverance and our strength through overcoming. And... And that is what we hope that through our journey here that we will demonstrate to you is that if there's a will, there's a way. And determination, desire, courage, um, wanting to be unstoppable, you know, even in our, in our circumstances, you know, some people will say, you're just downright foolish. I don't care. I don't care what people have to say. I know what God is leading. You know, we had an opportunity um, come our way. Um, that may have been an answer to get us out of this, but it didn't feel right. Uh, we both felt that God was telling us to just keep pushing forward and to have faith. And it was weird, and then at the same time we questioned that. But um, I still feel that our decision was right. The enemy was trying to make us feel otherwise. You know, sometimes there's quick fixes for things. And people will quickly jump to that quick fix because it's comfortable and because it might be an answer, but what if it's not the right answer? And that's what we seek. That's what we are constantly seeking is the right path, the right answer, the right way. And really in all that, what I'm saying is God's will. And I feel we're on the right path right now. I feel that regardless what the outcome of our circumstances, I still believe that God is going to carry us. I don't believe that he will ever leave us. And I believe that whatever the outcome is, is his will. Because we, we've given it our all, we're giving it our all, and there's not much more we can do. So, I imagine many of you have been in odd and hard and painful circumstances. And, um, you know, sometimes you can't see that tiny white light at the end of the tunnel or maybe just a glimpse, but, you know, and if you're going through a struggle right now and, and you can't see the forest through the trees and you're feeling confused, my suggestion to you would be to pull in to God for your answers and to trust him for your answers. Um, it's really an amazing place when you get there. <laughs> well, there went my coffee. All right, I had to change positions again, or I'd have a wet behind. Anyway, so I think I've rambled enough and shared enough. Um, remember, there is a $1,000 finder's fee for you helping us find our home, uh, a new owner for our home. Um, you can email us, you know, in regard to that at homestead at treyerwilderness.com. You can share the link by sharing treyerwilderness.com slash five acres. And uh, if you're a pray for person, um, we would certainly appreciate the prayers because um, finishing the interior of our home in a month is going to be some pretty wild and crazy stuff. Uh, we have to harvest trees, um, mill the trees, get the tree. You know, there's a lot of dead timber right now. We had a, a beetle and a mite infestation that took out a lot of our trees. So, you know... Again, it was not pleasant, but I think it was part of God's plan. So, um, and then the crunch to get ourselves under roof for winter is going to be an interesting challenge too. And prayers that my health holds up and that I can be of assistance instead of uh, uh, just in the way. So, I really appreciate you guys listening and um, sharing on this journey and... Uh, I, I, I really hope that we can inspire by being transparent. So um, uh, there's also some other links. I just want to make sure I'm covering everything because I tried to keep notes on this today of the things that I wanted to be sure I covered. Um, 
and I will share more of the links on our Facebook page too, guys. Holly says, lots of prayers for you and selling your home. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope I wasn't rambling too much. And I really, really hope that we inspire you. You know, the, and something that's coming ahead too, you know, many of you that have been watching from YouTube, we're really encouraging the mountain man to do more with his knives and his leather work. And he has. Um, one of the struggles we have right now is we only have so much time. And, um, you know, it was a, a weight system where we had to weigh things. And the knives and the leather work just weren't going to pull us out of our spot right now. But he's got some amazing new things. And our goal is to get ourselves under roof. Uh, and then this uh, fall, he's going to uh, start working uh, on knives and his leather work and uh, his blacksmith work. So possibly in uh, August, maybe we might even do a Christmas in July and start sharing some of his things uh, to get orders for Christmas so that when we are settled in, um, he can just uh, go to work. So we don't want you guys to think that we forgot about you or didn't appreciate your encouragement. It meant a lot and he's really been putting things together in his spare time, uh, but we've just been in a weird spot and having to really push uh, for that almighty dollar. And that's why also we're looking forward to our future in a tiny home, or even if it ends up being a camper, that we um, are living life chasing the right things. Um, we all need money, and there's good with money, and there's uh, you know, money is not a bad thing. A lot of Christians say, you know, that well, money is the is is the root of all evil. Um, but that's not the truth. Um, money. If you think of the Proverbs 31 woman, you know, she was a very resourceful, um, very creative person who was bringing in income to help the family. Uh, it's how you look at money, and it's it's what you put first. If you put money first then, you know, it could be a problem. But if you're putting God and your family first and seeking the money you need, it's a different story. So, you know, right now we just feel like we're chasing um, money and, and that's not why we took on this journey. We took on this journey for the simplicity and we just ended up in these circumstances. Um, it was out of our control, uh, but we can choose the outcome, and we can control the outcome, or at least we're going to try with everything we've got. Chad, thank you. Chad said he's praying for us all, and we really appreciate that, guys. And I would love it if you'd share this video today. Um, if not, you know, for people to help spread the word on our home, but maybe that we can reach somebody that's in despair. So, guys, I really appreciate you taking all this time to spend with me today. Your time is valuable. And um, during this chaotic time. We're not going to stop trying to inspire and share our knowledge. Um, at times it might be a little more limited, but we are going to do our best to take you on this journey because of um, the benefits that we feel you might gain from it. So guys, I wish you a really wonderful day and I'm just going to say a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, just bless these people that have joined me today and that will watch the replay. Lord, there's so many people that are, you know, walking different walks. And, you know, some of them may be empowered the way we are and following your lead. Others may be struggling. And I just ask that, you know, that those that are out there struggling, I ask that you keep your hand on them, empower them, love them, strengthen them, and help them to find you on this journey. Those that are empowered the same as we are, Lord, I just ask that you help them and open the doors for their journey continue to keep them strong, and may they reach people. And Lord, just bless these people for taking the time out of their busy schedules. Uh, keep them safe, and just uh, love on them, and give them a good week, and, and strengthen them in their walk with you. And dear Jesus, I ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. So guys, thanks so much. Um, this is our crazy future ahead of us, and we look forward to taking you on the journey, and we look forward to being unstoppable and giving this our last best-ditch effort. So, guys, have a great day. Love you all. God bless.